Hello, my dear friends. From time immemorial, to be more precise, from the time of Hippocrates, people have been aware of Hippocrates' recipe for the treatment of cold-related diseases. Generally, you take two segments of orange, a little cinnamon, a little carnation, mix them with two glasses of red wine, heat till boiling, and drink it in small sips all night. It's a splendid recipe, but it's not for children. Treatment for upper respiratory tract infection in children is what we're going to talk about. Today, we've decided to speak about URTI, Upper Respiratory Tract Infection. You know, we could talk about it for the next 30 hours, I guess. That's why we'll speak for about 10 minutes about some basic points in URTI treatment. There are lots of them, but not all are always obvious. Well, for instance, URTI and smoking. Even a small dose of tobacco smoke in the air, where a child with URT is, dramatically increases the possibility of complications. The thing is that the interior surface of the bronchi is covered with the so-called ciliated epithelium. There are special cilia on the surface of mucous membrane. They contract and push everything out of the lungs into the mouth so that we could cough out phlegm dust, dirt, etc. And it turns out that even a small amount of tobacco smoke reduces the cilia activity. They contract much slower, which in this turn dramatically increases the possibility of complications. That is why you should kick daddy out when he's smoking, when the child is ill. Clear? Great. There is one, it would seem, obvious thing which lots of people just cannot get. There are viruses, and there are bacteria, and there are antibiotics that were created to kill what? Bacteria. Bacteria. Antibiotics cannot have any effect on viruses. That's why if you ask your doctor for a magic pill to help your child's organism deal with a virus, you must know such pills don't exist. Every medicine you may hear about which supposedly kills viruses is mere Fiction. It's fiction. That's why, let's keep in mind, don't ask your doctor for antibiotics. It's an important rule. Antibiotics are used when treating complications, i.e. if there are complications after viral infection. For example, otitis or pneumonia. You can and must use antibiotics. Prescription of antibiotics before complications cannot prevent them. It's very important. There may be complications if you violate the basic child care rules. The sick child must stay in a room with clean, cool, moisturized air, but be warmly dressed, eat little, and drink a lot. The don't panic rule is very important, too. When your child sees his or her mother's anxiety, he or she is affected, and this way may increase the possibility of complications. In fact, the possibility of complications depends a lot on the person's character. Calm, composed people suffer from complications less frequently. I emphasize this. This is because people who can't sit still are constantly jumping, running, and always stressed, produced adrenaline. The reaction to adrenaline is vasospasm, internal organs malfunction, which naturally causes much stress to lungs and heart, increasing the possibility of complications. Lately, it has been vastly advertised that if you get sick and take this alleged great medicine, you will no longer be contagious to others. It's a very dangerous advertisement. People must fight with it at the national level. I want to point out that if you have symptoms of viral infection, you will be dangerous to others for the next five days. If you come to work, you will infect your colleagues. If you send your child to school, Therefore, the main rule is that a sick person must stay where? At home. It's very important. Good. The most difficult rule, but very relevant, is to try and convince yourself that viral infections and all, well, the main majority of URIs don't need medicine to be cured. 
So you understand that our medical men are constantly trying to convince society to believe that you will die without us and that every human disease must be treated. Although, to treat the absolute majority of human diseases, you just need to create favorable conditions for your organism to handle any problem. And the favorable conditions are food, water, and fresh air. However, if you still want to have some treatment, simply rinse your nose with salt water. Is it clear? You should treat your RTI as you treat our politicians. It's a nuisance which will always be with us. Clear? We can do nothing about it. We just need to survive it. Either we're going down or they are. Patience is crucial, isn't it? Now I am sure that you have lots of questions about your RTI. Well, folks, I'm all yours. Doctor, could you tell me, which is better to give to a baby? Water, stewed fruit, or stewed dried fruit? What is better? Well, the optimal drink for a baby over 18 months old is stewed dried fruit. It's perfect, convenient, and quick. As for babies under 18 months old, use ready-made solutions called oral rehydration solutions, i.e., a substance you dissolve in water. In fact, such solutions are useful for people of any age. They definitely work. Next, please. Another question about drinks. Can we give babies cocoa, hot chocolate? As for cocoa, hot chocolate, yes, you can. You just need to remember that they are a source of pure energy. So what I'm getting at is that if your baby drinks a cup of cocoa a day, it's fine. But to consider cocoa as a normal drink is wrong. That means it's more like food in this case. But effective, useful, definitely. Doctor, tell me please, can chicken broth be used as a light meal for a baby? Well, you know, there are even several studies claiming that there is a certain substance in chicken that has an antiviral effect. I personally do not believe that there is a certain substance that once in your stomach is able to kill a virus in the nose. Nevertheless, in many countries, chicken broth is recommended by many doctors almost as a remedy for treating viral infections. The only thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the following. Our women, when you tell them about chicken broth, will cook a broth that your spoon can stand. In. Clear? No. Chicken broth is a lot of water that smells like chicken. I want to draw your attention to this. It is very useful. When a person drinks a warm drink, it contributes to his or her healing. But if I tell you that you can be cured with warm water, you won't believe me. But chicken broth is a completely different story. You both eat and drink something warm and you feel better. That's it. And the last question, please. Tell me about bed rest during URTI. What should I do if the child with a high fever is running all over the place and it's just impossible to put him or her to bed? Can we continue? Yes. The principal rule of bed rest is that there are only two or three illnesses that require strict bed rest. All these serious diseases like diphtheria or severe forms of scarlet fever. Anyway, it's better not to know about them. If your child wants to jump and run, let him or her. That's it. A critically ill child will choose to keep to bed himself or herself. It is not up to you to make him stay in bed. I strongly believe that we can talk about URTI for a long time. We will definitely come back to this topic some other time. And as for what we've discussed today, I'm sure you've drawn the right conclusions. Well done.